In our second question, we are given the vectors v equal to minus 1, comma 5, comma minus 2, and w equal to 3, comma 1, comma 1. Same like the vectors that we had in question number 1, right? Okay, now let us see what we are asked to find. The other part of the question, we are to find the vector u such that u plus v plus w is equal to r. Let's do with that first before we move on to the ii part of question number two. All right, so uh, we are looking for vector u, we don't know. But we're given a condition under which we are to find vector u. That's the interesting thing about this i part of question two. The condition under which we are to find u is that u plus v plus w equal to what? i. Alright, so uh, we know that u plus v plus w is equal to i. So all I have to do, like we said, addition and subtraction of vectors generally follow Euclidean principles. Is that okay? Uh, simple uh, geometric rules. Uh, so you can refer to it, algebra laws. All I have to do here is substitute the value of vector v and vector w, which were given to me from the questions. But because this is equal to a unit vector i, it simply means that I would have to deal with this guy in terms of their specific unit vectors. This will be minus i plus 5j minus 2k. This will be 3i plus j plus k. Are you following right? And then solve. Or, if I want to maintain these components, then I would come to this i, I would not use this i. Rather, I will extract the coefficient, which is 1. Are you following right? Which therefore means that this is going to be the value of u, which I don't know, that's what I'm looking for, okay, plus the value of v, plus the value of w, then I'll make it equal to 1 instead, all right? But just for us to be fair, I would like to leave that i and then deal with v and w in terms of its specific unit vectors. So let us do that and see. This is going to give us u, we don't know, that's what we're looking for, then plus the value of uh, this v was given to us in the question. This is minus 1. That minus 1 is simply minus i. So I'm going to write for v minus i. All right. And then we have plus 5j and then minus 2k. I'm going to add it to the value of w written to include a specific unit vector. So we've got 3i plus j plus k. This will be equal to the unit vector i. And so all I have to do is just normal collection of like terms, making u subject of the formula. To do that, this is going to give us u equal to... Now, I want to move these terms to the right-hand side now. The right-hand side, we have i. Let me just split these whole terms to the right-hand side. These whole terms to the right hand side. So I'll simply be changing this sign plus. You now, if plus crosses the equality sign, it changes to minus. If this plus this term crosses, it becomes minus. Good. Remember, this i is the term, the unit vector on the right hand side, which we are collecting these other terms to meet. So the vector u will now be. Let's work on this and see. We are going to add or subtract this as the case might be, following their like terms. You can see the ijk component already. So we go i minus minus i. And then we'll come over here, minus 3i. Are you following, right? We're working with the i components already. So let us do that and see. This is going to give us i minus minus this will give us plus i. And then coming over to this, we have minus 3i. So this is the first term we've got there, plus. I'll now deal with the j component. This is minus times plus 5j, which of course becomes minus 5j. Minus 5j. And then I'll come over to this and pick the j component. Okay? And so minus times this j will give us minus j. Um, and then next, I am going to deal with the k component. You notice that only the i component has three terms. Because you have one i originally given from the question. Is that okay? So let us move on to the k component and see. Here we have minus times minus 2k, plus, which is going to give us plus 2k. 
minus minus plus. Then come over here, you pick the, t uh, the k10 as well too. Minus times plus k will give us minus k. I think that's all. Simplifying the vector u will now be, if you simplify this term, i plus i is 2i minus 3i will give us minus i. Now coming to this, this is minus 5j minus j. This bracket will produce minus 6j for us. So plus times minus 6j will give us minus 6j. Now coming over to this, 2k minus k will give us k. And there is positive outside, so it's still positive k. So I have plus k. And so this is our answer, or in terms of component forms, all right? If you don't want to show the IJK, you just have to extract the coefficients of this IJK and then enclose them in bracket. Here we have minus one, and then uh, this gives us minus six, and for this K, we have plus one. And of course, this is uh, an alternative way you can write this answer. So the vector U we are asked to find, that's the value there. So you can see how I solved it, just simple, Arithmetic, is that okay? Uh, then considering the light terms using the IJK unit vectors. Let us now move on to the second part of our question. We are again required to find the vector u such that this condition holds. So this I part of the question, u, again, we don't know. Subject the condition that u plus v plus w is equal to 2j plus k. In our next class, I'll be teaching you the other concept of vector algebra. We're going to look at multiplication of vectors. Remember, the scalar product as well as what? The cross product of vectors will be the focus of our next class. Until then.